Hey guys, Remy here. Today we're going to take a look at the few new updates for fan control. So right now, as of the recording of this video, we are at update 26. Uh, but my last video was like update 19 or something. So there's been a couple of things that changed. And we, I wanted to show you some of them. So, what are the new features? So first of all, we got control steps. So you can... Um, uh, decide how fast or slow uh, a control can change its percentage. Uh, also, you can now uh, manage uh, multiple configurations. So with files, uh, I'll show you that in a minute. And you can also, when you have multiple config, uh, quick switch from the tray icon uh, context menu. And there's also a few minor tweaks, like uh, I added a Q in the graph um, fan curve preview uh, in order to see uh, where um, the graph is currently um, relative to the temperature. And I also did some other minor tweaks, um, but those are not really that important for this demo. So here we go. So first thing, uh, the step. So as you can see right here, there's a step parameter uh, from which you can change from 1% uh, per second to 25% per second. Um, so yeah, it's pretty uh, self-explanatory. It's pretty much how fast the control can change. So if I um, create a 100% curve, and apply it to the GPU fan, you'll see that it will change 8% per second. And if I slow it down to 1, right now it's going 50, 51, 52 to 1% 1 per second. So it's pretty straightforward. So that's for the uh, steps. Uh, I mentioned some minor tweaks. So in the team editor, uh, you got a color picker, but you also got the uh, X value for the color. So it's easier to share and or remember, copy, paste, etc. So that's pretty good. Um, and yeah, the big one. So uh, as you can see in my uh, window title, you got a file name, a JSON file. So that's my current configuration. User config.json is the default config. So uh, any of you that just updated will have this uh, file name. But you can now uh, not only save, but save as. So I can, uh, let's say, uh, it's gonna, we're going to do an easy one. So we're going to change the color to a, I don't know, dark green. It's ugly, but oh well. And we can save as and call it ugly green, right? And we can click OK. So now we got ugly green uh, that JSON. That's our config. And uh, we can then uh, load back my default user config that JSON. Click OK. And we're back to business. So the config um, includes everything. So that's kind of an issue right now because um, like the uh, window position is in the config. So if I change it and I click, it says uh, my current configuration changed because the window position changed. So I might split up the, uh, like your fan curve profile configs on one side and your application wide things on another file. So, so that your window position is not saved with your config. But as of right now, this is how it works. It was kind of simple to code, and so this is what we got. So I'm going to click No, and I'm just going to wait. Where is it? OK. I'm going to pop it back up. So yeah, so we can, uh, as you saw, save and load. And yeah, it's, it's pretty much everything in the config that's gonna so you can change your fan curve you can change the color you can change the R offsets everything um so yeah so that's save and load uh, and you can also from the load uh the ugly green dot json that's how i don't want it you can also delete delete it from there so right click delete and you're done 
and yeah so, so that's for the configs and the program will remember your last loaded config so if you exit and you uh, boot it back up uh, your last loaded file will be the one that will be loaded and not the default one so um, I'm going to show you a quick use case for having multiple configs and I'm going to show you that with the quick switch. So my uh, my tray icon right now is their temperature, but I'm just going to uh, put the uh, fan control icon instead. So if I right click on it, uh, there's a new uh, configuration uh, menu item and from there you can see we got my two uh, configs, sort of default and loud AF. So let's say I want to go gaming and I got a good headset with proper noise, canc noise canceling. Uh, I can just load my loud AF config. And as you can see, I put it red, so it's easier to uh, know that I changed config. And I got only one fan curve, which is loud. And it's applied to every single fan. So every fan is uh, at maximum uh, speed. And when I want to go back, I just simply config, user config, and we're back. And also, you don't need to have the window open like this. You can have, uh, you can minimize it or you can exit it. Uh, let me say yes. And you can then uh, change directly here. And it will also change even if the window is not uh, on, the, on the front. So, yeah. Um, so that's it pretty much for update 26. There's a few other minor tweaks, but um, they are not worthy mentioned for, for this video. So uh, I still got a few things coming up for fan control, so stay tuned. And uh, I hope you download the new version and that uh, you have fun with it. So yeah, thanks for watching and goodbye.